uh, to be in first place, uh, first time for the franchise since uh, 2003, having the best record in the Eastern Conference, uh, with what you guys have gone through from injuries and a number of other things, what, what does it say you know, about this group? Obviously, there's bigger goals ahead, but what does it say about this group at this point to be where you are? Yeah, we're, you know, first and foremost, really proud of our, our guys. You know, they've had a lot thrown at them this year. We've had a lot of different lineups, um, you know, tough schedule and um, and a new group. You know, I mean, we've had three new groups in, in, a, in a sense. So um, for them to stick together, to continue to pursue what we're asking them to pursue, um, big picture and, you know, in the short term with the details, uh, you know, it's impressive. You know, we... First half was was the doldrums, especially the first quarter to a T. Um, but you know, second half was was outstanding effort and improved physicality, and so that again, uh, I would say we're really proud of our guys for what they've accomplished, considering everything that's been thrown at them. You hear anything you know regarding the hamstring injury, considering what Kevin go, is going through, it causes everybody to pause. What do you know right now? as far as James Harden and his situation? Yeah, I mean, uh, we're going to monitor it. Uh, we'll see how he feels in the morning. Um, I don't have a lot to tell you, but we we feel optimistic. It's not a long-term thing, and we'll just monitor it. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. I was going to ask you about James, but uh, you, you talked about the doldrums, and I'm curious, was there anything that was said by you or by any of the players in particular that helped kind of shake them out of these doldrums early in, the, you know, in the say second or third quarter? I mean, we talked about it at halftime. Um, you know, they know, they know, you know, they're, they're professional basketball players. They know that it wasn't good enough, wasn't tough enough, uh, mentally weren't locked in and, and didn't give the, the effort or the respect that was deserved. And, you know, it doesn't matter what said or who said it, what, what, we talked it over. Um, they took the challenge, and that's what matters. You could talk to your blue in the face. If they don't take the challenge, it doesn't matter. But so our guys, you know, they had pride, um, and they had respect for, for each other, and they went out and competed and were unbelievable in the second half. It's not perfect, but uh, it was a heck of an effort losing James, uh, you know, Kevin out, Landry out. Um, LaMarcus not playing yet. It was, I thought, an outstanding effort, and uh, I'm proud of them, and it made up for uh, – you know, a very painful first quarter or so. Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Hey, Steve, what'd you make of Nick's play down the stretch? You know, he had that assist to Blake, that block. He had a couple of baskets in a row. It seems like there was, there was time in the fourth quarter he was really carrying you guys. Nick was outstanding. You know, we, we've seen it. His uh, length, uh, athleticism, I mean, he just plays so hard. Um, but he did make a couple really nice um you know, plays, like you said, assists, uh, a couple tough finishes around the baskets, rebounds, tap outs, deflections, things like that, defended, um, you know, so very, very impressive. And, uh, you know, we're, you know, we we we, uh, we need him. He's he's maybe our best defender. And, uh, you know, with that length and activity, he's he's been outstanding for us.